in my bag When I see those green hairs flying by Know if I broke the main drag out in the timber Out in the sticks Out in the timber Morning. What's up, man? Yeah, about two hours. Mm. Yeah. 2.30. 2.30's here, boys. It's never felt better. Yeah, I went to sleep at like 10. Hey, guys. It's open in the morning, and we're out here. We're excited. Couldn't be any more happy to be out here in God's creation, Arkansas Timber. Hey, y'all ready? I'm about to just absolutely sit. Boat, seven boat race, seven boat race out here this morning. Till shooting light, no, no worries on our end. We're about to set it up and uh, kill some birds, what it's looking like. But it's hot, it's a hot one on opening day for sure. Sweating bullets. What's your predictions for your day? Well, conditions are looking pretty well, and uh, I think we're gonna get on. I think we're going to get the spread set up. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's got good spreads. Uh, Couple pods. Got our number one hole we wanted. We got here first. Yeah. Uh, pays to you know get to the ramp early. So I don't know. I think it's gonna be a good day. Uh, Y'all gonna see the results here pretty soon. So you got yeah. in a fight up there at the ramp? Yeah, a little confrontation. Not to do it. What are they saying? You know, just classic competitiveness. Arkansas duck hunting is all it is. Uh, you know, a couple guys rolled through our hole. Late, you know, they slept in. I mean, to it. Run right through our decoys. We'll inconsider it, but hey, you know what? That's life. You got to move on. So, how did y'all beat him to the hole? Coleman absolutely ripped it. There's two spots you can get in at. We were one of them. Flew right past him within five seconds. No big deal. So, uh, it's pretty sketchy out here, though. Water's low. They had an outboard motor, right? They had an outboard motor. They tried to get back here with us. They had to turn around. They couldn't make it. We, uh, a bunch of cypress knees, trees you gotta go around. You know, it's not for everyone. But we're here. We got about, what, 30 minutes of shooting line? Yeah. It's about right. Yeah, you know, after today, when we, uh, get on them, we'll take it to the, uh, to the back patio and show you how to clean the duck. Uh, before we, uh, grub tonight, show you the techniques. It's a skill, it's an art. I'll let you know, I'll let you in on a little secret though. So, y'all stay with us. It's gonna be a good time. Go back to where he is, he got a good spot. Right, we're right there. So I'm gonna tie a knocks up. Right. I've got his shot collar too. That was awesome. I dropped one to the right. Great feeling, isn't it? Yeah, he's still alive, I think. Hit the cripples. Well, can you see the 
the dot. Not nah, two. Different place. Place. Get up here. Get up here. Time to reset that back here. Those other guys. Sure. Let me put it back there with y'all so you have the full count. Huh? I have one here. I'm gonna give it to you so you have the full count back there. Right there. Dude, that one just landed. Straight back, motor. Straight ahead. I want you to shoot at it. Which one? See, see him straight. It's nose down. Go ahead and shoot at some. He'll, he'll see it. He's on. That's a green bean. Yep. You you said just take the bean, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was making sure because I shot him. I was like, what time is it? 8:45. Five and eight, yeah. It's eight on the dot. It's 7.59. I damn near called it. You called it. it. Let's get a few more. Scratch that we move it out by what? 8.30? I mean, I mean, <laughs> green beans and, and then we can take our pick and we'll block on what we think. Is that a green? Nice, you killed one? Yeah. Nice. Pretty cool too. Nice. Sweet. Wait, who else shot? Coleman did, but. I think I got the one on the left and I got one on the right. I think the one on the left is, yeah, I think that one Jake's getting, I got. And that's, de that's definitely a green head. Nice. <laughs> Easy as that. That's a wrap. So you're working on this first duck here? <clears throat> first duck here, you know, we did the, did our work, harvested the birds, now it's time to clean them. So the first thing you're gonna do is take all these feathers here, okay, this down feather. All you do is rip them, just like so. And then we'll get into cleaning out the breast. You get that mythical thing, you're gonna be living the life. <laughs> yeah, I know. All these, all these guys, the, the other two guys over here before you got back here, they're all in Memphis. Like, yeah, I gotta go home, get about 45 minutes home, like. Dude, that's gonna be me, hopefully. <laughs> so, you know, the first step, like I said, is getting all these off, but easier way to do it, you know, take these wings and you just really bend them back and get them out of the way. Um, it just makes it easier for the whole process. See, now they're, there you go, just like that. And now fold you're them ready. up underneath. Fold them up underneath. Now you're ready for the stage, first stage. So, good deal. Yep. All right. Now we get the feathers off. We're gonna get both of the breasts on either side here. So what you're gonna do? It's gonna go along. Some bone right here. Cut down. 
Okay. Probably better if I had a sharper knife, but hey, it's the way of the road. A lot of people miss this piece right here, okay? You don't want to miss that piece. What, what is that piece? It's tenderloin. <laughs> I don't know if that's what it's called or not, but it's a piece a lot of people miss. You do not want to miss it. Is it tender? Tender as it gets. Full of protein. Full of protein. That's what it's all about at the end of the day. You know, we don't, we don't just kill these birds for nothing. We eat every single one we kill, so really out of respect but uh, here we go just come around here on the top keep that piece right there and just like that you got a breast now of course it has feathers on it and everything but uh, we'll get the blowtorch out we'll get those off but what we like to do is keep Keep the skin on, all right? Uh, it just makes for a better a better duck breast. And uh, yeah, that's what you get right there. It looks a little messy, I know. Um, it's gonna get cleaned up, no doubt. But uh, it's a good breast right there, it's delicious. So Y'all stay tuned. So this burns the hair off? Right. You're never gonna get all those feathers off, but I can't stand feathers in my food. And that skin is what protects your meat. When you start cooking it. Cook some up here in a minute. Well, we could do it tonight, but Shelt may want to do it tonight. Sort of sounded like. Okay. But, I mean, I don't, I don't No, 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 no. It's y'all's day. No. I got all the duck in the world. I got the duck out in the I got duck in the freezer right now. What? Hey guys, let me show you the difference of a backwards hat and a frontwards hat out here. Makes all the difference in the world. Sun in my eyes, can't see birds. Hat forward, low brim, blocking the sun. I can see birds working in, I can see to the right, I can see to the left. It's standard, people talk about it all the time, but people don't appreciate it. Backwards hat, it looks good. It ain't convenient. Frontwards hat, it gets the job done. And I mean it. And while we're talking about hats, check this guy out. Be sure to buy these. Contact Matt Gorman at Instagram at Matt Gorman Music. It's a Matt Gorman special hat. Big artist out of Nashville. Show some love. Great hat, snapback, mesh back, good form. Hey, and don't get me wrong, I wear my hat backwards all the time, you know, but if I'm hunting, I don't. When that thing sits forward, them ducks come in. When I wear that thing backwards, the ducks, they don't give in. And when I wear it sideways, oh, it just begins. Hey, and sometimes if I wear it on this side, Today's gonna be a win. That's all I gotta say. Keep it up, north wind. Know how it goes. We're getting it in. <laughs> Eating so much food, call it double chin. Be out here on my knees in the hole, like I'm praying for my sins. Bunch of country folk out here. That's my kin. Hey guys, I'm Marty Mallard. Today we're going to be showing you how to work a jiggle string, jerk string, or wiggle string. A lot of different terms. Let's go ahead and get into it. I like to get in a squatted position and pull it like that, let it go. Pull it like that, and let it go. And that's how it's done. Yeah. You can see out here, we've got it rigged up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ducks all in this one jiggle string. Let's do it again. Ready? Let 
and let it down. You know, it's hard to stay fit during duck season, but I try to. Here's a quick tip. Grab your cypress knee. Hold it. Up, explosion through the hips and make sure you're working it through the back of the thighs. Let's do it again. Right there, hold it. Up, explosion in the back of the thighs. Make sure you're using your hips. One more. I want a big, big explosion on this one. We're gonna hold it for 10 more seconds. Yep. Here's another one I like to do. These things aren't light. Three, six, nine, 10, 12. Right there. Brings other ducks in. It's a movement. It looks like they're flying back here. Cha! Cha! Hold it out straight. Get you extensions. Get you a couple ducks. I don't have another one with me right now. Get you a couple ducks. Extensions. Explosive every time. Every time. Duck workouts brought to you by Penrose Duck. 30 minutes down at Old Dirt Road. You find your destination now that 